Hi, my name is Paul Deakin and I'm a solutions engineer with F5 Networks. And today we're going to talk about how to extract the UPN from a digital certificate on a CAT card using the F5 APM or Access Policy Manager. There are three items on the agenda today. I'm going to discuss what is a user principal name and where you can find it on a digital certificate. And then I'm going to talk about the two methods that we have to extract the UPN within the F5 Access Policy Manager. So first things first, what is a UPN? The F5 Access Policy Manager uses the user principal name or the UPN taken from the subject alternate name field of the signature certificate to search for the user in LDAP and allow or deny access based upon the information found. So here you can see the user principal name here um, so on a DOD CAT card, the UPN would be of the format edipi at mil, but this is a, a value, the user principal name that is found on a digital certificate. Extract the UPN for an expression in a VPE. The first method is to use a variable assign access policy item. It sits in between the on-demand certificate authentication and the LDAP query to pull the relevant value. In this case, I'm using a variable assign VPE item. Select the variable assign item and then click add item. Provide a name for the access policy item. This can be arbitrary. Select add new entry, select change. And then assign a custom variable. So in my case, I'm selecting session.custom.upn on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, you're going to copy in the expression. So that's going to be uh, the expression that will pull the UPN from the digital certificate. And you can find this expression in the article on Dev Central with the same title as the video. And then eventually you're going to select Finished. Then you're going to select Save. Then you're going to apply and then also make sure that this policy is associated with the virtual server. Method two is to use an iRule agent event with an iRule. Go into the visual policy editor and over here in the general purpose section there's an iRule event and then you'll select add item here. And then you'll provide an ID and this ID will match the ID that you use within the iRule. Then you'll need to create an iRule. So you can do that over in the local traffic management section, iRules. And then you have a create button over here. Give the rule a name and copy in your I rule. And click finished. Then you'll need to go over to your virtual server. and associate the iRule with your virtual server. Also important to note that you're going to need to associate that particular access policy, the iRule access policy with the virtual server as well. Note that any changes to an access policy, whether it's an iRule, 
method or an variable assign method, you're going to need to apply the access policy. That will always show up in yellow up here if you've made a change to an access policy. So go in there and apply the access policy and you should see it go green. And now we test. So finally, whichever method you have used, you'll want to test. So navigate to the service. You'll be presented with a digital certificate prompt. You'll select the certificate. And in my case, I'm displaying the UPN in a message box in the Access Policy Manager. And then you should be authenticated to the service. The UPN is being validated against the directory in my case, um, and I've written up all the steps that are outlined in this video on devcentral.f5.com.